What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at a very special Nikkor lens. Maybe not the most special on the market, but special to me nonetheless. I feel that it represents one of the best cost to performance ratios currently available in Nikon's product line. And the reason I say that is because you're getting a relatively useful focal length along with a very useful aperture. Now if you want an even bigger aperture than this, well then that cost skyrockets and the performance doesn't really change that much, meaning f1.4 can't really do that much more than f1.8. So for individuals getting into creative photography, this is a great way to start. So looking at the unboxing here, I'm not expecting too much from uh, the lens itself, but let's take a look at it. First things first, it's very light, of course being a prime lens. It's a very simple lens internally, and I actually like that. I'm, I'm usually inclined to use primes because, generally speaking, they come along with bigger, more useful apertures that are um, easier to use in a number of different environments. So let's look at what else comes with it. We've got, of course, our Nikon paperwork, our warranty, a little bit of a manual to go with it, too. I mean, you don't really need a manual with this thing, but... At least you get it. And then next, this is somewhere where Nikon really steps it up away from what Canon does. And they give you a lens hood and a lens pouch with a lens that's sub $300. Now, Canon never appears to do that. The only way you're going to get a hood is with an L lens. And as we all know, those start around 1000 bucks. So thank you for the love, Nikon. A little bit of extra is always appreciated. We all know what kind of margins you guys are playing with. So anyway, let's take a look at the pouch. And I've had Nikon pouches before, so I assume it's probably made out of the same material. It's almost like a suede kind of finish, although I'm pretty sure it's not real suede. Now these pouches are cool. I just find them to offer a little bit of extra protection before you go and throw the lens in your photo bag. I always like to have them. Now the next thing that came along with this lens is the hood. And I like to use hoods not just because they help with uh, sun flares and, and some issues arising from taking shots where you're pointing towards the light source, but also because they offer a little bit of extra protection for your glass element. By moving the edge of the lens out further, it's uh, protecting the internal elements and the glass from getting scratched. So here we can see the underside of the lens. Of course, it's made in China. So many of these are now. But it's got a fairly tight focusing mechanism. Let's try it on the 5100 and see how she looks. There you go, a real nice fit. And like I said before, being a prime, it's very inconspicuous and also light, meaning you can carry it around forever and you're not going to notice it. It's really a featherweight. Anyway, guys, visit the channel and subscribe. As I've said before, it's your attention that helps to keep this content rolling. Thanks for watching.